Welcome to Budapest. To put it simply, if you haven't been here, it's time you make plans to do so. The city appeals to many. You can step out of a thermal bath and right into a nightclub, and then back into the bath. In a city that dates back to the old stone age, visiting history buffs can take their pick between Roman, Neo-Gothic, Renaissance, and Ottoman architecture at sites like Buda Castle and Fisherman's Bastion. Budapest is more than just the political capital of Hungary, it's also the commercial and cultural nexus. From its multifaceted restaurant scene to its rich Jewish heritage, culture extends from nearly every inch of the Pearl of Danube. Splint by the Danube River and composed of three main regions, Pest, Buda, and Obuda, Budapest meshes modern conveniences with ancient architecture and grassy parks. Whether you're searching for cuisine, shopping, or museums, a multitude of all await you in Budapest. And prices are fair enough that you won't have to choose, you can indulge in them all. Located in the historic district of Castle Hill, Fisherman's Bastion is a neo-Gothic terrace that looks like a structure taken straight out of a fairy tale. Designed and built in 1905 by Friggy Schulich, the same architect who built the adjacent Matthias Church. Fisherman's Bastion is named after the medieval guild of fishermen who protected Budapest from invasion. Visitors say Fisherman's Bastion's gleaming white structure provides panoramic views of the city. From here, you can snap some breathtaking pictures of the Danny River, Margaret Island, and Pest. Also save time for exploring the site's seven ornate turrets, which symbolize the tents of the seven major leaders who settled the Carpathian Basin, ultimately leading to the existence of modern-day Hungary. Located on the west side of the Danube River, Castle Hill is a must-see district for any Budapest visitor. Recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987, the area's iconic Buda Castle was constructed in the 13th century. Walk the cobblestone streets, take in the medieval atmosphere, and dive deep into Budapest's history. From the castle to Matthias Church to the underground castle labyrinth to Fisherman's Bastion, you'll find there's almost no end to what you can learn about Budapest's past. The lack of vehicle traffic also lends an old-world charm to the area. Plus, travelers say you'll discover sweeping city panoramas from multiple locales in the neighborhood. It's hard to miss the nearly 1,250-foot-long Sacheni Chain Bridge. Originally built in the 1800s by English engineer William Tierney Clark, this stunning suspension bridge was mostly destroyed during World War II. Though it was badly damaged, it still features its original pillars and stone lines that flank its entrances. Since being reconstructed in the late 1940s, visitors have flocked here to walk, bike, and drive across it. Travelers rave about this impressive bridge, saying it's a superb subject for photos. For the best views, visitors suggest arriving at night when lights illuminate the bridge and surrounding attractions. Sites you can see from the Sesheni chain bridge include Buda Castle and the Hungarian Parliament. Heroes Square is one of Budapest's grandest landmarks. In fact, it's the largest public square in the city. Swing by this area to take a picture of the Millinery Monument, which was erected in 1896 to celebrate Hungary's 1000th anniversary. The square and the monument are dedicated to those who lost their lives while fighting for the country's independence. At the base of the famous column, topped with the Archangel Gabriel, are statues representing seven major chieftains, considered to be the founders of the Hungarian nation. Behind the column are matching colonnades with 14 statues of royalty and other important figures in Hungarian history. Completed in 1902, the Hungarian parliament is one of Budapest's most famous landmarks. The Hungarian National Assembly still meets here, but visitors come mainly to take in the building's architecture, primarily Gothic Revival style, and beautiful statues and paintings. According to many, there is no structure in Hungary that serves as a better symbol of the country's independence and commitment to democracy. Travelers and locals alike say this structure is a must-see for any visitor's first trip to Budapest. It not only features incredible architectural details, but also stunning Danube River views and significant artifacts, such as Hungary's crown jewels. If you're interested in touring the inside, visitors suggest booking well in advance since tours, which are the only way to gain interior access, fill up fast. Photography is permitted during a tour. However, taking pictures inside the dome hall, where the crown jewels are located, is not allowed. A soak in a thermal bath is a quintessential Budapest experience. It hasn't cultivated a reputation as the city of spas for nothing. These baths, or furdok in Hungarian, 
are heated by natural thermal springs and usually include on-site massage services, as well as steam rooms. With more than 100 thermal springs, the various baths around the city cater to different tastes, from relaxation to cures for illness, and some transform into pulsating dance clubs at night, so if you're bathing with your family, you might want to do so during the daylight hours. Across the Danube River from the inner city lies Jellert Hill. Measuring 771 feet high, this neighborhood is best known for its 19th-century citadel, but the area is also home to an arboretum a church built into a cave and various statues, such as the Liturgy Statue, a traveler favorite, and one of the region's namesake, St. Gerard. Legend has it that the Italian monk was pushed off of the hill to his death in the 1000s. On a sunny day, visitors say Gellert Hill offers jaw-dropping views of the river and downtown Budapest. Travelers also praise the neighborhood's statues but recommend learning more about their histories before arriving to supplement your visit. What's more, some caution that the walk up the hill is exhausting, but limited parking is available by the Citadel for a fee. You can also take the number 27 bus most of the way up to the Busselo just stop. Central Pest's Hungarian State Opera House has been an institution in Budapest since its opening in 1884. Featuring a neo-Renaissance style, the Opera House holds more than 1,200 seats and has a reputation for its exceptional acoustics. But the building's main draw is its opulent architecture, inside and out, marble columns, gilded vaulted ceilings, an enormous bronze chandelier, and murals and frescoes depicting Greek mythological scenes provide a romantic setting. According to recent visitors, the opera house's exterior justifies a stop, even if you don't head inside for a guided tour. As its name implies, Castle Hill's main attraction is its medieval castle. Built in the 14th century to accommodate various kings, the structure now features Baroque and Neo-Baroque details added during various restorations. It's also home to the Hungarian National Gallery, the Budapest History Museum, and the National Szczeny Library. Like Gellert Hill and the Szczeny Chain Bridge, Buda Castle boasts picturesque city panoramas, according to past visitors. However, previous travelers had mixed feelings about using the Buda Castle funicular. Some enjoyed riding it to the top, while others bemoaned its pricey fees and suggested walking. If you are not keen on walking but want to avoid paying 1,200 forints, about $5, for a one-way fare or 1,800 forints, $7, for a round-trip ticket, consider using the number 16 bus. Each ticket costs 350 forints, roughly $1.50. When purchased in advance, to get a ticket on board, expect to pay 450 forints, less than $2. For Budapest cardholders, rides on public transportation are covered. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share.